Hey there, everybody. Pete Pardo here from Comic Book Users. Welcome to another episode of the show. And look who's back. Hello, right comic next book to me. fans. Welcome back to another episode of Comic Book Users. As you can see, Pete and I finally had a time to get together. That's right. He's been a busy man. Yeah, it happens. I've been right? busy. Yeah, it happens. So, but a couple things have he's happened. He's been busy, though. He's been, he's been busy, but he's been busy buying comics. So I yeah, well, this is a new haul episode. Did you talk to them about that toy show we did last month or? Did you talk about that at all in your videos? Uh, well, I posted the one video, and now we're doing another one, so that's coming up. So, but yeah, yeah at, at the video, so, so we didn't talk about it in the video that we posted. But Bill, while we were busy trying to sell, sell shit, stuff, he's I, busy buying stuff. So yeah, so I did the fifty fifty. I, yeah. I sold. I actually did better at this sale. Not too good as you, Kirk. You guys sell stuff people want. <laughs> I have comics nobody wants, <laughs> but I was able to sell. Well, to be honest, I mean, Kirk sells a lot of toys. I was selling uh, movies and, and graphic novels and things. I'm going to be selling some toys this time. I so. sold that stuff that had nothing to do with comics. Well, the first time I sold two packs of Marvel cards from the 90s. They were metallic foil, Spider-Man cards, trading cards. Those were cool. And I sold a Bill Cosby record, but I didn't sell really any comics that time. You sold some comics last time, right? Second time, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I sold a good, decent amount. And traded some for this pile we're about to go through. So that's what this is. This is Wild Bill's Hall. Cool. So, uh, oh, you hold that and show that to him. Okay. I just remembered something. I forgot. I just yeah. remembered something. As he, yes. Knocks the table down. Okay. All right. So, yeah. So, this is uh, What If Doctor Strange Had Not Become Master of the Mystic Arts, issue number 40. So, this is a dollar magazine. This is probably 1983. Uh, is this Gene Colan art on this? Kind of. Uh, I'm not know. sure. I didn't I'm look. I'm not sure either. I think it looks like Steve Ditko, to be honest with you. I know Steve Ditko did a little run with the company later. I don't really know who did that, but anyway, so yeah. So, so that was given to me with something that I'll do Is that, to that later. Baron Mordo? It looks, certainly looks like him. Um, so imagine if he became Doctor Strange and not Stephen Strange. So I haven't read this yet. Yeah, that looks like But Steve I bought Dick. something, which I'll show later. Okay. <laughs> and the guy was like, you can have a couple comics. <laughs> now everybody's like, he's, he's not going to show what he went running for? It's like, no. Never mind. Never you mind. lost me. Yeah. I got more weight. Oh, you, you want me to do it? I'm not doing inside the covers. No, 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 no. I just I thought you just said you weren't going to show that thing you just went and grabbed. Later I'm showing that. Oh, later in the episode. Okay. This, this will pertain to it. I bought something. I'll show it later. The guy was like, hey, I'll throw you a couple of comics. And this was one of them. Gotcha. Okay. The other one I misplaced, which was a Warlock, but it was from the 90s. Ah, yeah, okay. Was number one. <clears throat> Chamber of Chills. There was this guy that was selling comics... I am supposed to plug him. It's like John Romita there. I gotta get, him, get his card. His name was Steve. He was from Massachusetts. I will plug his card someday. Someday. All right. Well, when you find the card. Yes. So I have Steve from Massachusetts. If you're watching, uh, he hooked me up. This is his stack. I traded some comics with him. I had Spider-Man 201 and 202. He he took took some horror comics, House of Secrets. But yeah, as you can see, I had a lot of. Stuff to pick from Steve. Actually, Steve's I, I said pile. Romita, but that could be Kirby. You think? I don't know. It look. It's. I'm not sure. I, you know, the more I look at it, the more it looks like Kirby faces and jaws. This is a great theme of go behind the door, meet my my child. Ah, uh, there you go. The child they've, is a disaster. Man. There's other horror themes from Marvel where they've got you know. The child behind the door monster. Yes. So this theme, the this basement. premise has been done before. You yeah. know, go in the go behind there, dearie. Dearie. Actually, she's food. Yeah. Fodder. So that was Chamber of Chills number 13. I got a decent amount of those. <clears throat> Crypt of Shadows. I don't have a lot between... Well, this helps. Number 12. Uh, got a decent amount of these. Interesting aspect there. That's from looking from the inside of the skull. Out. Yeah. That's yeah, pretty cool. Is he still back there behind the door? <laughs> yeah. Nice. She, the answer is yes. <laughs> Freaked out. Uh... Over the Decent House of Mystery. This is a uh, Luis Dominguez cover. Um, definitely cool. Oh, this is number two twenty-two, right? Yes. Nice. <laughs> so, without reading the story, interesting concept there. So, here's the kid who constantly kills and collects the moths. butterflies or moths, and then look what's coming to get him. Some kind of weird supernatural moth monster, right? Yeah, gonna devour him. Yep. Got it coming, buddy. And that is actually one of the stories in there. Ah, nice. Here's another one on the operating table. <laughs> this kind of makes me think of that Twilight Zone episode where the beautiful blonde is wrapped up behind 
bandages. And everybody, every, oh, the whole medical team all have pig snob faces and they treat her like she's ugly. Kind of like the same premise here, but this is death. <laughs> death of doubt. That's a great Dr. Cover. Death. Doctor, that is a great cover. Imagine yeah. that you're sitting there on the on the table ready for surgery. And the other guy with the scalpel. <laughs> you know? He takes yeah. off his mask and the doctor's a freaking skeleton. And yeah, the, uh, the other dude holding his head down. Yep. Yeah. That's that's, that's awesome. <clears throat> Dead of Night, number two. That's great because uh, I have issue one and three and four. This is what an eleven issue run. I've got like maybe six issues now. I have number seven also, number nine. That looks like a Bernie Wrightson cover, does it not? It certainly does to me. It's definitely cool though. It's I like the Bernie hands. Bernie Wrightson or Mike Plug, one or the other. It's, they both have similar styles. I like the hands. Yeah, the hands are great. The look on the guy's face. Yeah. Have definitely cool. Uh, <clears throat> wind up picking up the oldest issue now in my run of Ghosts. I think this is issue ninety-seven. Holy glare, Batman. But I like the fact that the Spectre is on the cover. I have a few Spectres in my uh, comic book collection. So for him to make an appearance in Ghosts, that was pretty cool, I thought. Uh, House of Mystery. <laughs> Looks like some demon boxer. Yeah. Demented. <clears throat> pretty cool. I think this is number... Uh, 281. 281. Yes, thank you. Another uh, Luis Dominguez cover. Don't expect it. Uh, this is the highest number now in my edition. This is like from 1979 when they were giving you like double your bang for your buck. Yeah, 68 A lot of stories. pages, three comics in one. So Witching Witching Hour, Hour, House of Secrets, Secrets and the Unexpected. unexpected. Yeah, right. Three separate books in one <clears> issue. Yeah. And more blurbs about the Superman movie. Uh, I see that. How many pages do they dedicate to that in here, I wonder? No, there's no, a couple of blurbs. No, but okay, not like that. Number 189. Seen. It's the last in my unexpected run. House of Mystery. This is number 286. <laughs> this is pretty cool. Well, it's got a mummy on it. Of course yeah. it's cool. I have another House of Mystery where it's almost like a Jack the Ripper vampire character holding a chick like that. Same kind of hiding, lurking behind a doorway. You know, out of sight. Hush now, girl. <laughs> sure, that's not what the mummy's saying. Yeah. <laughs> Issue 43 of Ghosts. I got a lot in the 40s now. I got at least uh, seven or eight of them. So this is pretty cool. Let me get this one. It was a big haul for Ghosts and House of Mystery on this run. I see that. Got like five of each. Uh, this is issue 22, I think. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Another evil Toro Matador cover. And these were original stories. These weren't reprints from DC. These were originals, which was cool. This is issue 32. I got a bunch in the 30s now. And most of the 20s. I think I had two or three issues in the 20s now. I don't have a lot in the teens. This is issue 35. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely cool. She's oblivious, and that cat is like, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> the hell is the phantoms? Yeah. All right? Coming out of the water. Oh, this is another classic cover I've oh, seen yeah. before. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Nick Carty cover. Yeah. Curse of the Black Cat. I saw this. I was like, I've seen this book before, man. I want it. That's just go. such a cool cover, man. You want it? You have it. Yeah. Definitely worth the trade. Uh, I have the a lot of the odd issues. So when I saw an even issue, I was like, yeah. I'll take an even issue. Of the Astonishing Ant-Man. Marvel feature. <clears throat> Herb Trippy cover. Look at that. Number one is eluding me. I have two, three, oh, five, one's with, uh, seven, defenders. nine. <laughs> number one's with Defenders. I have yeah, that. that's a hard one to that's a good find. One. But it's a good one. I'm missing a couple of those Ant-Man issues, but I have a few of them. Uh, it doesn't really hold it for me, Ant-Man. My yeah. attention. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a, a huge fan of the character. It's an appropriate name. Weak Man. <clears throat> yes. Ant-Man, Weak Man. The Astonishing Weak Ant-Man. I don't know. And weirdly enough, after it's the Marvel funny, feature I'm ended, sorry. after Marvel feature ended, they just then they, they resurrected it a couple years later as a restart for Red Sonja, which is weird, like Marvel feature volume two, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, the, so I, there's two things I'm going to say. I'm saving the key for last. So I made a deal with him and I uh, traded some comics. And so I threw him some cash. And then I said, Hey, how about this one? Can you throw this one in, please? And he's like, All right. 
So this is uh, Flash 176. That's an oldie. What, what's that from, 1967 or something like that? This is, yeah, 1967, 66, somewhere around there. 12 cent yeah, book. That's, an old, that's a great cover on that. Yeah, it's the only one in my 170s. I have two or three issues in the 160s. So that was cool. But here was the biggest key. I was so excited when I saw this one. Spider-Man 52. Definitely awesome. Uh, I have issue 54, and I just recently acquired a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, issue 40. So this is the second oldest of my Spider-Man collection. And uh, that pretty much collect, wraps up the comic books, but to end the episode, the one he went running to get was this uh, Neil Adams Richard Batman Wolf. Treasury Edition yeah. from like 1977. That's a great story. Big the whole story Richard of Roger Gould. Yeah. Tali Al Ghul and yeah, that's, that's yeah. A good unfortunately one. the bottom cover down here. Ooh, there's a chew. Yeah, big time. It's so okay. I, I knocked ten bucks off. You know, if I had seen that, the price sticker was down here hiding this. If I had seen it, I would have uh, negotiated more. But uh, I'm very happy with it. So this is like the fourth Batman Treasury Edition in my collection. But this is a Neil Adams cover. This is a, if I take this out real quick. <clears throat> So 76 pages, and it is a mangly yeah, cover. It is here, mangled, yeah, but it's, it's a, a full artwork. cover. Yeah, Treasury Edition. So there you have it, gang. My recent haul. I have that whole story in a tree in a graphic novel. That's this cool. is also <clears throat> these. I'm glad I have this because the original. Uh, the original comics that they're published are like, you know, out of this price range, you know. I won't say Hulk 81 price ranges, but no, ridiculous no, no. Yeah. price ranges. You know, you're going to have to spend a couple grand to get these four books that this storyline came out of. What I'm digging for is the actual covers to show you that the stories came from with Raja Ghoul. Yep. Oh, this one over here, the top one is his first appearance yep. in Batman. And then the second book, obviously, is part two of the story in this Treasury Edition. And that's a cool looking cover. That's a Neil Adams cover? Yeah, I think so, yeah. And I'm not sure, but the first one might be Neil Adams also. It says it would have been here. So yeah, those are hard to get and they're expensive. So unless you can find a copy of this or there's a trade publication that has all the kind of early and best of the Ray Shagul stories, that's in there as well. This all and here's the other two. Now this, the top one, and then that bottom one is a classic cover. <clears throat> yeah. You mean, and then, in typical DC fashion, they plug Wonder Woman, Superman. Sure, why not? And then the one and only Muhammad Ali versus Superman, uh, Treasure yes. Edition. There you go. I've seen it at a con once, and the guy won 150 bucks Oof. when we were in Poughkeepsie Civic Center. Anyway, that is this edition of Comic Book Geezers, my recent comic book haul. Hope you liked it, gang. If you do, please click the like button. We'd appreciate that. That helps support the channel. We thank you for your support and your comments and for being here and watching Comic Book Geezers as always. Comic Book Geezers. That's our new name. Mm. Anyway, you know the deal. <coughs> yes. Click the notification bell so you'll be kept in the loop every time a new video comes out. You'll be kept in the loop. Thank you so much, and we'll see you next time for Comic Book Geezers because I got another recent comic book haul I'm going to show right. you. Two hauls in a row, right? So well, Stay tuned. He's trying to play catch up because I did a couple of them as well. So yeah, so we got another haul coming at you in just a couple days. So stay tuned until right. then. For Wild Bill, I am Pete. Have a good one, everybody. Bye-bye. Take it easy.